You're watching my CDL buddy, and I'm your host. Today we're going to show you how to do a pre-trip inspection on the Class B CDL school bus. Let's get started. Now we're going to conduct a pre-trip on the Class B school bus. When conducting a pre-trip on the passenger style vehicle, you have to do the full exam. First thing I do on the pre-trip, I start off with the front portion of my bus, starting with the front of the bus from top to bottom. First thing I'm gonna inspect is my strobe light. It's not broken, not cracked, clean and clear, and working properly. Then I'm gonna inspect my clearance lights. They're not broken, not cracked, on secure, clean and clear, proper color, and working properly. They have the function of running lights. I will check my school bus sign and reflectors, make sure they're visible, clean and clear, not ripped, not scratched. Then I'm gonna check all my student lights, the reds and the ambers. They're not broken, not cracked, on secure, proper color, clean and clear. Next thing I'm gonna check is my four-way emergency flashers on the front side of my bus. They're not broken, not cracked, on secure, clean and clear. Now we're gonna move to our headlights. They're not broken, not cracked, on secure, clean and clear. These lights have multiple functions. We have the headlights, the high beams, the emergency flashers, the right and left turn signals, and also running lights. Next thing I'm gonna inspect is my safety arm, or you might call it your stop arm. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. It works properly. Finally, I'm gonna go under the bus, make sure there is nothing hanging and no leaks coming from my engine compartment. Once I'm done with the front of the bus, we're gonna move on to the engine compartment. Now I'm gonna open the hood. Now that we are on the unique side of the engine compartment, we want to make sure that all the lines and all the hoses, they are not broken, not cracked, on secure, none of them are leaking. Next thing we want to look at is going to be our alternator. The alternator, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. This alternator is belt driven. The belt, it's not broken, not cracked, not frayed, and it is on secure. Next thing we're gonna look at is gonna be our water pump. Our water pump, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, and this water pump, it is belt driven. The belt, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, not frayed. That's all the unique items that we have on this side of the engine compartment. Now we're gonna go on the driver's side of the engine compartment to check all the regular items. Let's get on that side. Now we're gonna inspect the driver's side of the engine compartment, all the regular items on the bus. I usually start from top to bottom. First thing I wanna check, all my lines, all my hoses to make sure they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, and not leaking. My coolant reservoir, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. The cap is on tight, the cap, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. The fluid is at proper level. The hoses, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, they are not leaking. Next thing I wanna inspect is gonna be my engine oil dipstick. My engine oil dipstick, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. The way I would check my oil is, I would pull my dipstick out, wipe it off, put it back in, pull it back out, make sure it's at proper level with the engine being off. During the pre-trip with the examiner, you do not have to actually do that. Just word it out just like I did. Next thing I wanna check is my braking fluid reservoir. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. My cap is tight. The cap, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. 
My hoses, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure. It is at proper level, filled with the braking fluid. Under this is my braking fluid pump. The pump, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. All the lines, they are not cut, not leaking. And this is gonna be gear driven, since it does not have a belt on it. Next thing I'm gonna check, is gonna be my power steering fluid reservoir. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. The cap is on tight. It's not broken, not cracked, not leaking. The hoses, they are not broken, not cracked, on secure. There is no leaks of any fluid coming out of the hoses. There is proper amount of power steering fluid in this reservoir. I will follow the lines from the power steering reservoir to the power steering pump, which is hidden back here, the power steering pump. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure, not leaking. And this power steering pump is gear driven because it does not have a belt. Next thing I want to do is going to be my steering gear box. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure, not leaking fluid. The power steering gearbox lines and hoses, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, and not leaking. Next thing I want to look at is my three-piece steering linkage. My three-piece three steering linkage from the top, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. All the nuts, all the bolts, they are on properly. And I keep going down all my linkage here, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, all the bolts are on tight. Next thing I want to inspect is going to be my school bus's frame. The frame, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. There is no illegal welds on this frame. Now we're going to get into our suspension. I'm going to sh start with the shock absorber. The shock absorber, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. It's not leaking any fluid. All the bolts and nuts, they are on tight, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, on the mounts of the shock absorber. Now we're gonna go by our spring leaf mounts. The spring leaf front mount, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. My spring leafs, they're not broken, not cracked, not scissoring. My U-bolts, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure. I will follow my spring leaf to the back, all the way to the back rear mount. The rear mount is not broken, not cracked, and on secure. Now we're gonna move down to our braking area. So our braking system, we're gonna start with the lines and hoses. The lines and hoses, they are not broken, not cracked, not leaking, on secure. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna see my brake caliper or drum. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. I'm gonna look inside, and sometimes there's a cover here blocking my view. I'm gonna check my brake pads to make sure they're not broken, not cracked, or dangerously thin. Everything looks adequate to me. Now on our wheel, we're gonna check our tire and our school bus's wheel on the inner wall of the tire. The tire's inner wall, it's not broken, not cracked, not cut, and not leaking any air. We're gonna check our tires tread depth, it's not broken, not cracked, no cuts, no leaks. We have to check our tread depth on our steers. There has to be a minimum of four and 30 seconds of an inch tread depth on the steer tires. Now we're gonna check the front of the wheel. Now we're gonna check the front of our wheel. We'll start off with the wall of the tire. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure, there is no cuts or tear in the tire and no leaks. Then we're gonna go to the rim. Our rim, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. There is no illegal welds on the rim. The lug nuts, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure. They are all on tight. You make sure you check all the lug nuts. Our axle seal, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. There is no leak of any fluid and it's at proper level. On the bottom here, we're gonna check our valve stem. It's not broken, not cracked, not cut. There's a cap on it. If we wanna check the inflation of our tires, 
we would take a tire air gauge, put in our valve stem, make sure the tires have the proper amount of air, 105 PSI or more. Always make sure you put the cap on. During the pre-trip inspection, you just talk about it, how you would check the tire. You don't actually have to check the tire pressure air. Now let's move on to the next form, which is gonna be the side of the bus, the second form of the full pre-trip. Once you have completed the inspection on the front of the school bus, next we're gonna move on to the side of the bus. We will inspect everything on the passenger entry side of the bus, all the way down to the rear of the bus, the underside of the bus, the rear passenger side axles, the back of the bus, and finally, we're gonna go down the driver's side to see if there's anything unique that we need to inspect on the driver's side of the bus. First, we're gonna start off with the clearance light on the front of the top of the bus. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure, proper color, clean and clear. The mirror, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. The lens is clean and clear. Next, we're gonna move down to inspect the passenger entry door. The passenger entry door. Neither of the doors are not broken, not cracked, on secure. The hinges, the bolts on the door's frame are not broken, not cracked, on secure. All the gaskets, they are not ripped, not broken, not cracked, they're on secure to the door. And all the glass on the door is clean and clear, not broken, not cracked, on secure. Now we're gonna move over. We're gonna keep going down the side of the bus to our marker light, the side marker light. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. It's clean and clear. Now we're gonna go to the reflective tape close to the doorway. It's not broken, not cracked, not ripped, not scratched. It's clean and clear. We're gonna open up the fuel tank to check my fuel cap to make sure it's not broken not cracked, on secure, on tight. I would open up the fuel cap to make sure there's a safety chain and rubber grommet on it during the inspection. You don't have to actually do that, but you want to talk about it. Now we will close the fuel door. We're going to move down the side of the bus and we're going to inspect the clearance light in the middle of the bus. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure, proper color, clean and clear. All the lights that are from the middle to the front of the bus are amber in color, and the rear clearance lights are always red in color. You also have to make sure that all the reflective tape all the way down the side of the bus to the end of the bus are clean and clear and on properly. Now we're gonna check all the items under the bus and on the rear passenger side axle. Now we're gonna check all the items underneath the bus. First item that I see is gonna be the frame. The frame, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. There is no illegal welds on the frame. Right under my frame, I have my exhaust pipe. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. No holes or black suck coming out of it. Under the exhaust, I have my Drive shaft, my drive shaft is not broken, not cracked, on secure, it is on properly. Next thing I'm gonna check, is gonna be all my suspension items. I'm gonna start off with my spring leaf mount. The spring leaf mount, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. My spring leafs, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, not scissory. My control arm, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. My U-bolts, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure. After I do my suspension, I'm gonna move on to my braking system. My brake lines and hoses, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, there is no cuts or leaks coming out of them. Inside my wheel is my brake drum. My brake drum, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. My brake pads, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, and they are not worn, dangerously thin, they're adequate. I'm gonna move on to my tires. My inner wall 
on my tire. It's not broken, not cut, not cracked, not leaking any air. I would check all my tire walls for the same thing. The front of the tires, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure with proper amount of tread depth. The tread depth on the back tires has to be two and 30 seconds of an inch at the minimum. Cause there is two tires here. This is called bud spacing, the space in between. Make sure there is no dead animals, no debris or objects inside of them or stuck in between them. If there is, you would get a tool to remove them safely. Now we're gonna move on to the front of the wheel to inspect all the other items on the tire and the wheel. Now we will inspect our wheel starting with the front of the wheel and the tire. Our tire wall, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, there is no cuts, no leaks. Our rim, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, there is no illegal welds on the rim. Our lug nuts, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure. Inspect all of them to make sure they are tight. My axle seal, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. All the bolts are on tight and there is no leaks coming out of the axle seal. My valve stem, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. I would check my valve stem with a tire gauge to make sure my tire has at least 105 PSI of air or more and make sure it's adequate and make sure there's a cap on my valve stem. My mud flap, it's not broken, not cracked, not hanging, it's at proper level. Now we're gonna inspect the back of the bus. Now we will inspect the rear of the vehicle, the back of the school bus. We will start from the top to the bottom as always. First thing I'm gonna check is gonna be my clearance lights. They're not broken, not cracked, on secure, proper color in red, clean and clear. I'm gonna check all my student lights to make sure they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, proper colors, clean and clear. Then I'm gonna check all my DOT reflective tape all over the back of my bus, the yellow, orange, and the red tape to make sure it's not scratched, cracked, or broken, and it's clean and clear and visible. Next thing I'm gonna check is my rear emergency door to make sure it's not broken, not cracked, all the rubber gaskets are on tight, the glass is clean and clear, the handle is there, there and stable, and once I do my in-vehicle inspection, I will make sure this door opens and closes freely. We're gonna check all the rear lights to make sure they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, clean and clear. The rear lights have multiple functions. They have the left signal light, right signal, four-way emergency flashers, brake lights, tail lights, reverse lights, and also on the bus, we have the student lights as it's a school bus. On the bottom of the rear of the bus, we're gonna check our exhaust end. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. There is no black suck coming out of it except on the rear of the exhaust tip. The final thing we do on the external pre-trip is gonna be inspect all the unique items on the driver's side of the school bus. Let's get to that now. On the unique side, which is the driver's side of the school bus, we have to inspect all the unique items, starting with the driver's side mirror. The mirror, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. All the lenses are clean and clear. Next thing we found is our stop sign. The stop sign, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. Clean and clear and visible. The lenses are not broken, not cracked, on secure. We make sure that all the lights and the stop sign functions properly. Next, we want to inspect our fuse box. First, we start with a door. The door, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. The hinges are on tight. All the lines, all the electrical wiring, it's not broken or cut or cracked. All the fuses, gadgets are not broken, not cracked, in the proper place. Finally, we will check our battery box. The battery box, the door, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, the hinges are on tight, all the batteries are placed well and stowed away, they're not broken, not cracked, not leaking any fluids, all the battery connectors and lines and wires are not broken, not cracked, 
not cut, everything looks safe. Now that we're done with the outside of the pre-trip, our next thing is to check all our student items to do our external light operation check and finally our in-vehicle inspection, our in-cab. Let's hop into the bus. I'm gonna walk into the bus, sit in the driver's seat to perform my external light operation check. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come back out and the examiner will read me instructions to finalize the pre-trip with the in-vehicle inspection and student item check. I'm gonna go in the bus to do the light check now. Now we're gonna do our external light operation check. I'm in the bus, I will put my vehicle on electrical mode to get power to my unit. The first light that I will check is gonna be my strobe light. I have to make sure my strobe light is working, and which it is. The next light I wanna check is gonna be my clearance lights. I would turn on my headlights and my clearance lights should automatically come on. They should be working. Since my headlights are on, next I would make sure that my headlights are working. They do work and they come on properly. While my headlights are on, I will turn on my high beams. My high beams, they are working properly. Now I'll turn off my high beams and my clearance and headlights by turning off the headlight switch. The next light I will check is gonna be my left turn signal. My left turn signal does work properly. Now I will check my right turn signal. My right turn signal works properly. I will check my four-way emergency flashers. My four-way emergency flashers, they work properly. Now I wanna check my amber flashing lights. They should come on. They are working properly. I'll turn those off. Now I'm gonna check my red student lights, my stop sign and lights, and I have to make sure my safety stop arm does come out and it will retract back in. Everything works properly. I'll turn off my reds, my stop sign and my stop arm. Next, we will check all the lights on the back of the vehicle. Now after completing the front light check of the bus, we have to check all the lights on the rear of the bus. First thing I want to check is to make sure my clearance lights and my running tail lights work. The way that I do that is I turn on my headlights. My clearance lights, running tail lights should be working. Next thing I want to check is make sure that my brake light does work. I will push in my brake and make sure the brake lights do work. Next thing I want to do, make sure my emergency four-way flashers are working in which they are. Then I would check my left turn signal, make sure that is working. My right turn signal, make sure that is working. And I wanna check all my student lights. So I'm gonna put on my student lights, make sure they are working. And then I wanna check my student stop arm lights and my reds to make sure that the red lights are also working. Now we're gonna perform an in-vehicle inspection on our school bus. First, we're gonna start off with all the student items. As we enter the bus, first thing I inspect is my handrail. The handrail, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. Then I'm gonna inspect all my steps. The steps, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure. There is no debris to slip on. There is a stairway light by my steps. The stairway light, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, the lens is clean and clear. Now we're gonna go into our bus to check all the student seats and the emergency exit. Now we're gonna inspect all the student seats. We will hit the back of the seats to make sure they are bolted securely to the floorboard. We have to check every seat on the entire bus. As I walk down the aisle of the bus, I will hit each seat to make sure that the seats are bolted firmly and also down the aisle, make sure there is no debris for any student to slip on. Make sure you check each seat for the safety of the students.
Next, I want to check at least one of the emergency exits on the bus. The one that I'll check today will be the emergency door on the back of the bus. I have to check to make sure the door opens freely, opens all the way, closes, and locks back up. Let's try that. I'll pull up on the release arm, which is the red bar. It did release and unlock the door. Now I'm gonna push the door open, but I have to make sure to secure myself so I don't fall out of the bus while I'm doing this. The door opens all the way. The hinges on the door, they're not broken, not cracked, on secure. The door opened easily. Now I have to shut the door and make sure I don't fall out of the bus while I'm, I'm doing this test on the emergency door. The door did close properly, and now I will lock it back up, make sure that locking lever and mechanism work, which they do. Also, each bus has many different exit points. So one of the most important exits also is the ones on the rooftop. So you don't have to check this during the inspection since you checked the door already, but generally as a bus driver, you would check all the emergency exits to make sure they all work. Now we're gonna go up to the driver's seat and do the in-vehicle inspection for the driver and also any other student items that are left, we will check at that point. After checking all my student items, the seats, the emergency exits, and the aisle. Now I'm sitting down in the driver's seat to perform my in-vehicle inspection and engine start portion. Since I'm in the front seat of the bus for safety, I will close my passenger entry door at this moment. I'll put my key on electrical mode. I'll close my door. And I will turn my key back off. Being in the driver's seat, there is a few student items that I will check. The first student item that I want to check is my first aid safety kit. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. It is full with the proper items. Then I have to check to make sure my body fluid cleanup kit is in the bus, which it is. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure, filled with proper items. My inside student mirror, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, clean and clear. It works properly and it's properly adjusted to my view. I will also inspect my student mirrors on the outside of my vehicle on my hood to make sure they're not broken, not cracked, on secure, clean and clear, properly adjusted to my view so I can see down both sides of the school bus. Now that I'm done with all the student items, I'm gonna do the in-vehicle inspection, the engine start for all my driver items. I usually move from left to right and I start with my safety items. First thing on my list is gonna be my seatbelt. My seatbelt, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, no cuts, no frays. It latches and unlatches properly. As an applicant during your test, I would like you to keep your seatbelt on during your entire in cab and pre trip. Now I'm going to check my fire extinguisher, my second emergency item. It's not broken, not cracked, on secure. It's BC or better, proper type, properly dated and filled. Behind my seat, I have three emergency triangles. They're not broken, not cracked, on secure. Inside of my triangle box, I have emergency spare fuses. I have one fuse for each type that I need for my school bus. Now we're gonna move on left to right from my driver's side mirror. My mirror, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, it's clean and clear. I will check my windshield. My windshield, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure. There is no illegal stickers on my windshield. My passenger side mirror, it's not broken, not cracked, on secure, it's clean and clear. Now that I'm done with all my glass and my mirrors, I'm gonna do an engine start on my school bus. First, I'll put my key on electrical mode to make sure my ABS light comes on and goes off, which it did. After all my clocks loaded and my dash checked everything on the indicators, I will now start the bus. Now that my bus has started, I want to move from left to right. First thing I want to do is check all my gauges. 
On the left side of my dashboard, I have my battery amps. They're at proper level or rising. Then my water temperature gauge. It's at proper level or rising, working properly. Then my engine oil. It is at the proper PSI. It's at proper level or rising. The gauge is working properly. I would check my fuel gauge to make sure I have enough fuel for my school bus. Then I would check my battery volts gauge to make sure I have proper amount of voltage on my battery on my bus. Once I'm done with all the gauges, I'm gonna do a internal light operation check for my indicators. I go by my indicator bar, I make sure my left signal indicator on my dash is working, my right signal indicator on my dash is working, my four-way flasher indicator is on my dash is working, then I turn on my headlights to make sure my dash lights up, that my, it shows that my headlights are on and working. Then I would turn on my high beams by pulling my indicator bar towards me, the driver, and my high beam indicator should come on to let me know that the high beam indicator is working. I would turn that off. I would turn all my lights off. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna check my wipers. Put on low level, make sure my wipers are working properly and they're sticking to my glass. All the rubber on my wipers is on. It's not broken or cracked. Then I would push in the bar to make sure that all my fluid on both wipers is spraying properly and is cleaning my windshield and my wipers are cleaning the fluid off the windshield, I would turn off uh, the wipers. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna check my horn. Some buses have two horns. Uh, this one obviously has one. It's an electric horn right on the steering wheel. The horn does work. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna check my fans. I would turn my fans. I would start from the top to make sure my defrost works on my fans, which it does. Then I would check my floor heat to make sure my floor heat and my fans do work because we do need floor heat. I would turn my fans off at that point. Once I'm done with my fans, the last thing I need to do is gonna be all my braking test. Today, since we do not have an air brake vehicle, we have a hydraulic brake vehicle. We're gonna do a hydraulic brake test. Then we're gonna do a parking brake test and a service brake test. So the first brake test I wanna do today, I wanna to do my hydraulic brake test. While my vehicle is on, I'm gonna pump my brake three times and hold it for five seconds. If I have pressure on my brake, my hydraulic brake test is successful. But if my brake falls to the floor while I'm doing my five second hold down on my brake pedal, we have a problem with the hydraulic brake system. So I'm gonna put my foot on my brake pedal, pump it three times, and then on the third time, I would hold it down. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. And I do have pressure on my brake pedal to conclude that that is a successful test on the hydraulic brake. Next thing I wanna do while my parking brake is on, I wanna put my foot on the brake, put my vehicle in drive, let go of my parking brake and tug, push on the uh, fuel pedal to make sure that my parking brake does hold my vehicle. I am in drive, I'm pushing on the gas pedal and it is holding my vehicle. That's a successful test. I will put my foot on the brake pedal, put it back in neutral. Last I wanna do, I wanna release my parking brake, which I did, my parking brake light is off. I'm gonna put my vehicle in drive, drive about five miles per hour or 15 to 50 feet. And then I will hit my service brake to make sure my service brake works. Now we're driving, we're about five miles per hour. We hit my service brake, it does stop my vehicle. That's a successful test. Now I'm gonna put my vehicle back in neutral, pull out my parking brake, my parking brake light should come on. At the end of your brake test, you always want to take a minute to think, did you miss some item? Whether you missed the item on the outside of the bus, the inside of the bus, the student items light check, or especially the brake test, you can go back and redo those items or ask your examiner if they would want you to show them those items that you missed and they usually give you credit. The hydraulic brake test, you, you make sure you do that exactly how I did it in this video. 
If you fail the hydraulic brake test, it is an automatic fail on your pre-trip and you will have to come back to do the full exam back over. So this will be the end of your pre-trip. Thank you for watching this video.